hi everyone so welcome to the another session of github tutorial series today we are going to learn the concept of git pull so why we need to take git pull let's try to understand this concept with an example so let's say you are working on a github project let's say we are working on a github tutorial project And currently you are working on branch which is master so for some reasons you need to switch to another branch which is branch a in this case so now when you are working on master branch master branch so some other developers are working on their respective branches so let's say on branch a some developer were working and they have committed some new changes right so when you try to switch to branch a you are not able to get the updated code so how let's try to understand this so you can see on my screen that i am currently on github tutorial uh, project and on the branch which is master so when i click on teams and and try to switch on branch a so i get this code and which seems to be not updated so let's verify it so i can see on the github uh, remote repository that branch a have two files one is driver.java one is test.java but in my eclipse i am only able to get one file which is driver.java so why it is happening it is happening just because that when you switched your branch and you are on branch a first of all you need to take git pull git pull is an operation in github or in any git which try to fetch all the recent changes that has happened in that branch so let's try to do that so for that git pull you need to click on your project click on teams click on pull so see we can see that some changes have been done in the test.java file so click on ok so click on refresh so i can see the updated file which is nothing but test.java so now my code is updated as per my remote repository so this is the concept of git pull thanks for watching this video